A Chinese proverb once said, If you plan in four years, so rise. If you plan in four decades, plant trees. But if you plan in four lifetime, educate people. With the advent of COVID-19 pandemic, students across the globe have been forced to adopt e-learning platforms for education. Access to e-learning materials have been a problem faced by people around the world and mostly Africa. This is due to the high cost establishment and continuous data purchase to access information. Last year, we showcased our project to solve this problem by providing students at home live classes and educational content via our network device. This project got recognition and sponsorship from ACT Foundation Leadership Challenge and Enactus Nigeria. But this year, as we approach a post-COVID-19 era with the COVID-19 reduction and schools ongoing, we were able to move our project to another phase by integrating this device into an e-library to solve the problem of overpopulation in classes and high cost of data purchase. There are about 211 tertiary institutions in Nigeria, admitting 30% more than requirements. Because of this, over 50% of students do not give good attention to lectures. Libraries are open in the daytime when lectures are ongoing and closes during the night when the students are free to visit them. Over 500,000 students across these institutions spend nearly 2,000 naira every month just to get education content online. At least 20% of these students experience network disruption at every minute. These problems have led to many Nigerian students graduating with a very poor knowledge and skills in their fields of studies. As innovators and problem solvers, we have introduced at a very low cost and have designed and built a solution to solve these problems. Surge e-learning. Surge e-learning is a local and global area network of computers that allow students to stream educational content and access learning materials via mobile phones, computers, and any other wireless enabled device through a simple and straightforward process. This device can be generally classified as an e-library and it can serve as a logical extension for the physical library. We have leverage on the existing technology of a mobile phone, laptop, or any device that is Wi-Fi enabled. Educational contents are gotten from several free learning management systems systems and websites. Also, content can be provided by partnering organizations like schools or business organizations for easy access by student or staff. Students can attend classes or have easy access to educational content directly by connecting their choices device that is Wi-Fi enabled to our network device that can accommodate over 200 devices at a time and can cover an area of 2 kilometers. This system comprises of a micro Microprocessor, a data storage and server system, a router, solar panel, and power inverter. The best part of this system is that students do not need to subscribe to any data bundles to be able to have access to their educational content. And aside educational content, our team also develop content that can give skills and values to any youth or adult. Just connect your Wi-Fi free and have access to educational content content via music player or any other file explorer. Setting up and uploading of content is cost us the sum of 122,000 Naira and will sell at a sum of 200,000 Naira. This device was presented to our university administration whom have become one of our major clients. My name is uh, Professor Nicodemus Ochani Agbulu the Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academic. The NACTU students practically demonstrated the utilization of the offline platform and uh, based on its workability and simplicity, the university has already keyed into it. I'm also amplifying and extending its utilization by all and sundry. I encourage people to key in and uh, patronize the NACTU students so that uh, enough of this um, platform, the offline platform that does not require data, could be mass produced. And doing that, it will also assist the accessibility of learning, teaching and learning material. This is very simple, it's affordable. 
because you don't need data and you don't need bandwidth you only need the links so i want to use this opportunity to encourage vice chancellors and even all the students to key in and then make use make effective use of uh, the offline platform produced by nato students of uh, uh, just Thank you very much. We have been able to set up at three out of the 11 colleges with over 5,000 students registered and already using this device. We promoted our business using flyers, social media campaigns and engaging industry partners. We have been into partnership with Xenopsis Integrator Solution who provides hardware services, Vinandi Media Technology offering media services and Skill Plug who provides technical skills that are values to students. Profits are generated from this device by making provision for advert placement. So far, we have generated 1.3 million Naira through sales and ads. For sustainability, we have trained and gainfully empowered five students to manage this project to be earning while learning. During the project development, 57 students gain knowledge in embedded system development, programming and network configuration, improving their value and technology appreciation. We have been able to impact directly on our target audience by creating access to e-learning without any data cost and indirectly curbing the depressing feeling of not having data access. Necessity is the mother of all innovations. The need for stable power supply has led us to our second project. According to Nigerian Power Sector Recovery Document, losses due to lack of stable electricity amount to $25 billion annually and 60% of the gross domestic product. At the tail end of this problem is Nigerian micro businesses, which depend on electricity for their day-to-day -day activities. These businesses now have to turn to alternate sources of electricity in order to power their businesses, costing them an average of 2,500 Naira per day, amounting to 30,000 Naira a month, which in turn leads to loss. To solve this problem, we came up with an innovation tagged the fuel-less and eco-friendly power generator. This generator works similarly as the conventional petrol generators, but in this system, we eliminated the internal combustion unit and replaced it with a more eco-friendly alternative. Our generator comprises of an alternator, battery, a DC motor and a chargeback circuit system. The alternator which produces current once it's rotated is joined to a DC motor which runs on a battery. Once the DC motor is turned on, it rotates the alternator to generate electricity. We designed and built a chargeback system that charges the battery from the current generated from the alternator. So the battery continues recharging while the generator is on. In essence, the generator recharges itself. Our device is aimed at over 20 million micro businesses in Nigeria, which experiences profit loss, thus enabling them to save over 30,000 Naira monthly. Our innovation is eco-friendly and so decreases harm in the environment. With this project, we enter the Science and Technology Innovation Challenge sponsored by the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board where we received the 500,000 Naira development grant that was used to manufacture our prototype after which we competed at the STIC Northern Region competition and emerged as one of the winners. We then proceeded to the finals of this contest in Bielsa State and emerged third place. We were rewarded a deserving cash prize award of 1.5 million Naira and also an incubation boot camp which will provide the resources needed to advance further into a viable social enterprise. During our market analysis, we took this device to test run with potential customers. Here is a testimony. My name is Omini Deni. I've been spending a lot of money for petrol. Over one now, but since those students bring this their generator for me, I'll be enjoying it for a while now. And um, it makes me to like save a lot of money because I stopped to buy food ever since then. So it's very good and it helps for business people like me. 
I'm a fashion designer. This testimony affirms our expectations and the prospects indicate that the generator can scale into a successful enterprise. We are confident that our projects have successfully contributed to the following sustainable development goals. Goal number four, quality education. Goal number seven, affordable and clean energy. Goal number eight, decent work and economic growth. Goal number nine, Industry, innovation, and infrastructure. Goal number 12, responsible consumption and production. And goal number 13, climate action. We believe that our project has successfully made a huge step in improving people. We are improving the value of students and artisans to gain real advantage in the job market and also give them skills to be technological entrepreneurs. Planet our innovation, which is eco-friendly, will encourage people in employing clean energy to innovation. Prosperity. Our innovation increases the profit of micro-businesses around the country since they have been experiencing a reduction in revenue due to purchase of alternative sources of electricity. We are, we are the enactors team that most effectively demonstrated entrepreneurial leadership to drive business and innovation for sustainable positive impact to benefit people, planets and prosperity within the last enactors year. We are the enactors team from Joseph Sawantaka University, Makurdi.